epilepsy can affect anyone at any age. That's the first thought you have to kind of remember. One out of every 26 Americans has a risk of developing epilepsy. Outside of that, uh, people, there are some groups, especially young kids, that they may be born with it where they have a genetic reason for their seizures. However, the truth is seizures can occur from any other number of causes depending on you know, how old you are and what's happening. So head trauma, certain infections, brain tumor, stroke, hemorrhages, even Alzheimer's disease. All of these things can potentially cause seizures and or epilepsy. And there is a very strong stigma attached to the condition for wrong or right that's existed for so many years that it's only through talking about it, like interviews like this, that do you ever find a way to kind of find a way to mitigate it and lessen its impact that way. Every brain has the potential to have a seizure. It just depends on what the circumstances are and what are the conditions around it that may lead to a seizure or epilepsy in some people. On the home management, I always tell people avoid alcohol, that's number one. Uh, get plenty of sleep, that's another one. And then thirdly is find ways to manage stress. There's no such thing as a stress-free life, but uh, stress that gets out of control can certainly create problems. If those things don't work, then you're really looking at uh, kind of treatments. And the treatments start off with medications. We have more than 20 of these available in the United States. There are surgical options if medications don't work. There are implantable devices that act like pacemakers if surgery is not possible. Uh, there's a ketogenic diet. So many options that are available out there. And very importantly, a lot of options that are being explored for its management.